Welcome to a special Top 10 Dragon Ball Z video where today I'm here with BYG Agami and we'll be counting down our top Toriyama moments. The picks on this list include any comments directly stated by Toriyama himself and any one-shot works after his serialization of the Dragon Ball manga. Let me start this by saying that we'll both select 5 Toriyama moments each, making up 10 altogether. With that said, let's get to this list. My top 5 pick is when Toriyama in Volume 6 of the Full Color Manga answered the question that a lot of the fans have been wondering for years and years, and that is the name for the artificial humans, number 17 and 18, or newly known as Lapis and Lazuli. Leading on to my number 5 is when Toriyama retconned Majin Buu's backstory in one of his interviews a few years ago. Instead of being formed by Bibidi, Toriyama said that he was there since the beginning of time and he's the full embodiment of evil. This makes Buu a lot more interesting and intriguing and really adds to the Dragon Ball lore as a whole. Number 4 on my list is that Toriyama Sensei was inspired by his family cat to create the present design for Beerus the God of Destruction from Universe 7. Further on in the interview, Akira Toriyama states that he was very fond of the scene in the beginning of B.O.G. when the purple pussy wakes up. Transforming into my number 4 spot for me is when he was approached to look over the screenplay for Battle of Gods, but then decided to just completely change everything altogether. Originally there was Yusuke Watanabe as the writer of the movie, but then Toriyama changed so much and he made it more of a light-hearted movie, added the peel-off gang and changed the location to Bomber's birthday party. It definitely does deviate from Toei's original version indeed. <laughs> Toriyama recently came out and talked about how he was disappointed about Dragon Ball Super's animation and art, and with this statement, Toei sorta of got their shit together and made the animation slash art a lot more smoother. My third pick on this list consists of him saying in an interview founded that day as choose what the Dragon Balls feel like when you touch them. Toriyama says that he thinks the Dragon Balls are like hard resin. He adds that if you poke a hole in the Dragon Ball or harm it in other ways, after a wish is granted and the balls just scatter, they eventually regenerate from stones. The harmed Dragon Ball will be as good as new in that case. <laughs> The second to last spot on my list is relating towards one of Toriyama's more recent creations, and that is Dragon Ball Minus. It's so funny to think why it got made. In the Dragon Ball Minus bonus chapter, my favorite character Bardock, the first Super Saiyan in a non-canon way, was a useless character. He did nothing similar to Bardock in the Bardock Father of Goku special. He didn't even confront Frieza in his last moments, or even have a badass fight scene. The only thing I enjoyed from Dragon Ball Minus was the reveal of Goku's mother, Jine. <laughs> The second to last spot on this list is Occupied. Occupied with an inconsistency created by Toriyama himself. It's minor, but in the Resurrection F original script by Toriyama, Frieza states that Bulma and him met on Namek. This is simply not the case, and it's a common example of Toriyama forgetting a plot point in his manga. Now why is this so high in the list, you may ask? Well, because Toei actually caught Toriyama's mistake and fixed it in the final script. Plus, this inconsistency is not talked about as often as the rest. Very intriguing stuff. My number one Toriyama moment is when he first started Dragon Ball, because my favorite show, something I hold very dear to my heart, is Yu-Gi-Oh! In Kazuki Takahashi, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! listed Akira Toriyama as one of his favorite manga artists. Also, fun fact, in the first chapter of the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga The God Puzzle, Yugi is nearly about to complete the Millennium Puzzle, which took him 8 years to do, and there's this one line that Yugi says to Teya, and it's that the person who solves the puzzle will have one wish granted like a Dragon Ball, and that's really cool to see that Kaz referenced DBZ in the literal beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now finally, the best Toriyama moment is actually an interesting screw up he made, when he stated in the 7th Daizenshu that he was the king of everything and now in Dragon Ball Super, we actually have a king of everything. I know him naming himself the king of everything is a gag only, but still, people always refer to their Daizenshus as official, so this could be considered a retcon I guess? I don't know. It's so cool that over 20 years ago he said one little phrase and then that base concept is turning into an actual whole character, in a sequel series that is watched by millions. 
Thank you for watching this video and if you haven't already then please go subscribe to BYG Agami for the latest and most accurate news on the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Darksider Dimensions movie. He really does do his homework when it comes to presenting knowledge about Yu-Gi-Oh! in his videos so please, please go check him out. Also follow me on Twitter for very frequent updates to the channel and subscribe to my YouTube for more videos from me. See you later! If you all enjoyed this video from Frozen Particle, be sure to like it and throw a subscription to the channel.